Hi everybody, it is Nat and today I'm here with another reading vlog. Today I am reading Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer and it's interesting so far. So this book is becoming a movie and I saw the trailers for the movie and I was like that looks good. So I went in and picked up the book and I won't say I don't like it but it is very interesting. It's written kind of weird. It's I mean at least for me it's like confusing to read but like also I kind of love it. <laughs> so pretty much this story is about like this it's called like area x but it's like this area that's like has this border around it and it's like really weird and there's like been a bunch of expeditions like into this area and like they're all like super weird and like bad stuff happens to like each expedition and so this time it's a group of all women who are going but it's crazy because we don't know anyone's names they're just called like the biologist the anthropologist the psychologist and the surveyor pretty much their job is just to kind of like learn as much as they can about like this area x and it's really interesting they found this like it's like a the, the main character thinks of it as like an underground tower but everyone else is like calling it a tunnel they're like trying to explore it and it's just it's really crazy and i'm just like it's so weird there's like this like writing in plants on the wall and like no one knows how to like no one knows how that's there and it's just there's lots of weird stuff happening i just think it's so creepy because like they're like not really supposed to like talk to each other too much because they want to keep like everybody's individual like observations from being skewed because I guess like I think like um group hallucinations are possible and just like from the past expeditions it's like better if at least the scientists who are like running this think that it's better if they just kind of like don't like get their observations like biased or whatever and so it's just so crazy because like they don't really talk and like they don't like it's like like I kind of feel like they all hate each other but they're all like just doing their thing together and like nobody know well I guess they actually know their names but like we don't know their names so they're just like called their occupation and it's just crazy and I just finished the first chapter these are long chapters oh my gosh um but yeah, I just finished the first chapter and I guess we just found out that the psychologist has been using I keep sorry <laughs> has been using um hypnosis on them like this whole time and so I guess like a bunch of stuff they like don't remember but um the main character the biologist she got like hit with some spores from like the the writing plants and so now she thinks like those spores made her resistant to um hypnosis and so she like experienced it she like pretended that she was still hypnotized but she like experienced the um psychologist hypnotizing them like telling them to forget stuff and it's like the psychologist is creepy because it's very weird so far and I won't say I love it but I am enjoying it and I think I will like it more once we find out more because it's it is like they're long chapters I mean it's a really short book but there's only five chapters <laughs> they're like really long this next one's like 50 pages uh but yeah so I mean that's really all I have like I said I just I'm only on page um what like 35 I think yeah 35 I've just read the first chapter and it's definitely intriguing and weird but I kind of love it. Hi again so I'm now on page I think like 107 or something of Annihilation and this book is super creepy. Literally it's so like intriguing like I'm so excited to see like what's happening because it's like it's so it's like such weird stuff is happening and I'm just like I want to know and like the book is so short that I'm like I'm kind of feeling like we're not gonna like really find anything out until like the entire trilogy because like the book is so short like I'm already halfway through and I'm just like there's so much but we don't know but, oh my gosh so pretty much since I last talked to you guys the anthropo anthropologist has died we're pretty sure the psychologist has killed her and the psychologist is now missing so what the heck um the the tower like living organism thing is super creepy i'm super curious about what that is and how that plays into it and what the crawler is who's like the person who's writing the words on the wall it's like what is happening oh my gosh but i won't say this isn't gonna be a five out of five star book for me but i definitely am enjoying it it's very interesting and I'm, it's kind of like a puzzle <laughs> that i'm trying to solve but yeah it's just it's it's weird but it's good and um based on I don't think it's anything like how the movie's gonna be <laughs> based on watching the trailers I mean maybe if, if I read like the other books in the series maybe like the movie is like the entire series not just the first book um yeah because I'm like so far from the trailers there's like nothing that's the same but I'm really curious to see what happened with the psychologist too because right now she's missing and 
we know she went to the lighthouse, but we don't know where she is now. Um, but she seems like she's evil, so <laughs> um, we'll see what happens with her. But also, I think I'm gonna we're gonna find out more about all of the other expeditions soon because um, the biologist just went to the lighthouse and found like a like a like underground trap thing that had like a ton of journals, and so she like more journals than could be provided from 12 expeditions so she's thinking there's like a whole more like a whole ton more expeditions and like they're telling people so I'm really excited because I bet she's going to read those and then we're going to find out more uh, but yeah it's a very interesting very weird very creepy book uh, but I'm loving it so far but I think I'm going to go ahead and get back to reading it's so I'll check with you guys soon hi so I just finished Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer and this book was weird so I think I'm going to end up giving it four out of five stars, but I feel like not a lot of people are going to like this book. It kind of, as I was reading it, as I got further into it, especially after the ending, it kind of reminded me of A Soul Guard of Silent Things. How it's like there's this like really, it's like, it's just like there's not a lot, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, I really enjoyed it, but it's not like a story. I mean, we don't, I mean, and I know there's more to this series, but it's like, not a lot happens. I guess I should have known that because the book is so small, but like, like hardly anything really happens. It's kind of more just figuring out what the crawler is, but there's not much like physical action that happens. I did really enjoy it. It was a super creepy like book for me. Uh, yeah, and like I said, I definitely enjoyed it, but it was, it was very weird and I feel like a lot of people won't like it. And I have heard um, mixed reviews on it and I know like it doesn't have a good 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 read score um I definitely enjoyed it but yeah it's so weird but yeah I just thought it was very intriguing and I really do want to continue on with the series because I think after each book is kind of different after reading what the next one is about I think we're getting a lot more um answers because this one I think was more just setting it up and not giving us a lot of answers but I really hope we figure out what happened to the biologist in the future because so far she's I think she's gonna go look for her husband but I don't know what's gonna happen to her uh and I hope we find out because I did I did like her yeah I know I've said this a lot but it was a very weird and interesting read it kind of like this little rod of silent thing it's just kind of like what <laughs> as you're reading it but it's definitely interesting and I still want to see the movie but I think the movie is like a thousand percent different than this book uh but that's okay but I think that's gonna be all for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one